Hi, Heather Lynn Blue. It's Mike Sarno. I'm responding to your text comment uh, to my video, Deconvert. You uh, asked me what I thought of the statement about the dichotomy between theists and non-theists in the social and political framework. Um... I mean, first let me state that, you know, yeah, there is a dichotomy that exists. You, you are either a theist or a non-theist. I'm not so sure how much that extends into the social and political framework, as you, as you put it. I think that theism and non-theism are private, personal uh, motivators that where where you actually uh fall within that uh that dichotomy has very little to do with how you behave in public uh, if you have an ethical non theist i don't see how that is any different than an ethical theist i mean potentially i mean obviously you can have somebody who uh you can have some, some theist who, who thinks that God has said some all kinds of real crazy ideas and, ha and, and then acts on them and believes to be acting completely ethically. But, um, you know, I, I suppose, too, you could have a, an atheist who believes that he's acting uh, ethically and doing all kinds of crazy crap, too. So I, I, I think that in the in the public sphere and that's really what we're talking about at least i think that's what your question is if i'm if i appear to be dodging the question i'm i'm not uh if you want to rephrase it um that that would be great too but i think in the way that you're 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 framing the question um i don't think that there's really much of a difference i mean i i guess this kind of touches on the idea of religion in the public sphere in the public square and i don't think it's i don't think it's wrong to you know kind of wear your religion on your sleeve so to speak i don't think it's wrong to uh to let people know that you're a christian or a jew or uh you know a muslim or an atheist i don't think that that should create a problem um i think here in the United States, we have a pretty good division between church and state, and I, you know, I mean, it could be it could be tweaked, it could be fine tuned. Um, I think it doesn't go far enough in some areas, goes too far in others. Um, but that's kind of not what your question's about, so I don't want to go into too much uh, detail there. But I think in general, we've come up with a pretty good solution that everyone can consider as. Uh, is a pretty fair compromise. Uh, there are some exceptions, I'm sure, but for the most part, I really do think that, that here in the United States, we've come up with a pretty good compromise on this issue. Um, I think this is an extension of Western civilization where we've pretty much come to terms with uh, religion and said, look, you know, if we, if we really push this in the public sphere, we get nowhere. So let's keep it more or less private. Um, Members of uh, religious organizations are allowed to vote in democracies, and if their uh, religiously tuned uh, conscience tells them to vote one way, then, um, you know, go for it. That's what democracy is about. It's about this uh, flow of ideas and, um, you know, the, the will of the people. So um, is there a dichotomy in the social and political framework? I don't really think so. Um, I'm a non-theist, and I find myself agreeing very often with uh, theists in the um, in the social and political sphere. Um, not always, but um, but often enough to make note of it. And um, there's also a, a, a lot of uh, you know non-theists with whom I disagree uh, in the social and political uh, sphere. So I don't think that it's that, that we're divided into those two different groups in um, you know in in the public sphere so I, I hope I've answered your question uh, again if I haven't uh, feel free to rephrase it um, 
you know, a uh, comment to the video is fine. PM me if you want, or make a video, whatever, whatever form you feel is 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 uh, required. That's great. Um, thanks for the question, and um, thanks for watching. <laughs>